skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in the United States and Canada, and rates are increasing. Construction laborers are at increased risk because much of their work is outdoors, where they can experience prolonged exposure to UV rays, especially if sun protection measures aren't in place. Skin cancer is caused by the exposure to the sun's UV rays and lamps and tanning beds. Some outdoor workers are also exposed to substances, such as asphalt, that increases the harmful effects of UV radiation. Geography also plays a role. Living or working at higher elevation means less protection from the ozone layer. Being closer to the equator increases risk for skin cancer. Basal cell carcinomas are the most common type of skin cancer. They are related to cumulative sun exposure and occur in sun exposed areas, especially the head, neck, and hands. Basal cell carcinomas appear pearly or translucent with a bump in the middle. If left untreated, this type of skin cancer will bleed, crust over, and repeat. Basal cell carcinomas typically do not spread. Squamous cell carcinomas are the second most common type of skin cancer. They are also related to cumulative sun exposure and occur in sun exposed areas, especially the ears and lips. Squamous cell carcinomas appear as a reddish or brown scaly lesion or crusty patch. This type of skin cancer can spread and is usually not deadly. Malignant melanoma is the least common and most dangerous type of skin cancer. It is related to bursts of heavy sun exposure and sunburn. This type of skin cancer can occur anywhere on the body, not just sun exposed areas. Malignant melanomas come from existing moles, the area surrounding moles, or may look like moles. Malignant melanomas are curable if diagnosed and removed when limited to the outermost layer of skin. Once it goes deeper and spreads, it can be deadly. The best defenses against skin cancer are preventing overexposure to UV rays and the use of screening and regular skin exams. There is no such thing as a safe, healthy tan. Tan skin is damaged skin. You can limit your UV exposure by limiting your time in the sun, especially between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Seeking shade whenever possible. Wearing clothing that protects you from the sun, such as a wide brimmed hat. Wearing broad spectrum, water resistant sunscreen with at least SPF 30 every day, even when it is cloudy. And reapplying sunscreen every two hours or after sweating or going in the water. Avoiding tanning beds and sun lamps. When checking your skin, keep these tips in mind. Look at your skin from head to toe. Use a handheld mirror or solicit the help of a friend or family member to check hard to see areas. Check places that get little sun, like the bottoms of your feet, under your toenails, the lower legs and groin. Ask your hairdresser or barber if you have any unusual looking spots on your scalp. Follow the A, B, C, D, E principle. Asymmetrical shape, irregular border, changes in color, diameter, and evolving. The ABCDE principle may not always apply to people of color. If you have darker skin, look out for dark spots, growths, or a darker patch of skin that's growing, bleeding, or changing. Sores that won't heal or that heal in return. Patches of skin that feel rough or dry. Dark lines underneath or around the fingernails or toenails. For more information about skin cancer and how to protect yourself, reach out to the Fund's Health Promotion Division or leave us a comment below. Thanks and stay safe out there.